left school, and today, as you guys know, I have started on Slushy and Friends. And, well, at least, he just gave a little animation test. And I have to come up with a decision. I am going to make it into an anime. Mostly just because it's fun to experiment with new art and animating style instead of just using my own. Which, of course, using my own is fun. And, but it's just kind of uninteresting because I'm very used to doing it. So it's fun to experiment with an art style I'm not used to doing. But today I am going to discuss the pros and cons of the of Slushy and his friend's powers. First of all, we have Slushy himself, which, which has dark magic. The pros are, it's very powerful. It can literally kill someone if he doesn't show mercy. The second pro is, it does not exhaust him. Third pro, it's hard for the enemy to see when he's in dark places. And four, it's really easy to use. And then there's cons. If it's countered, it can harm Slushy. If it, it, it's easy to see in bright areas, therefore it's really, really easy to avoid. And it's hard for him to use if he's crippled. My bad. I accidentally exited it out. So I just exposed what was on my phone. <laughs> it's fine. Who cares? And then there's milkshake lasers. Pros. It can cause permanent injuries to an enemy, as shown with Shelby. Good for sneak attacks if he's not visible, and it's easy to use. And then cons. It hurts his eyes if he uses it too much, which is what caused him to go blind. Two. Can't use in the dark due to not being able to see people's shadows. Because Milkshake, since he's blind, he needs to be able to see their shadows in order for to see the enemy's shadows in order to know where the enemy is. Otherwise he'd just be taking a wild guess and risks harming one of his friends. And three, if it, he uses it way too much, his eyes can bleed. Yeah, that's right. If he uses it too much, his eyes can bleed. And then there's Snowball, who just has straight up demon powers. Pros is she can do more and more than one thing, like control fire and fly, and it does not have much negative effect on her. And three and four, she has sharp horns, which she can harm her enemies with, and the same goes for her claws. The cons, if not careful, she can harm her friends with her horns and claws. Three. Two, depending on what she uses, she can exhaust quickly. And four, I mean not four, three. Hey, I need to go back to kindergarten so I can count. And three, she needs her power canceling collar to stop it because she can't control it well at all. Now Chloe, who can just so extend her tail. Pros, it has a really tight grip as shown on this tree here. Two, good for holding villains hostage. Three, also good for getting high things off of high places. And four, you can pull down trees and boulders if needed. Now for the cons. If a villain fights to get free, it can exhaust or hurt Chloe. Two, if it's extended too long, it can be kind of hard to control. And three, if out of control, it can break something. Now for ice. Great. It can make the villain stand still in shock if she shocks them. Two, it can exhaust villains, but not ice herself. Three, ice can happen. I mean, not ice. Lightning can happen naturally, so it's good for sneak attacks. That's gonna get confusing, the fact that her name's ice, but she can't control ice. I just thought that would be way too simple. Anyway, time for the cons. The first con, easy to see in dark places. The second con, she can go so dumb for a few minutes because she fries her brain cells. Also, only MHA fans will get this next joke, so if you don't, don't watch My Hero Academia, you might not get this. Dinky Kaminari has entered the chat. <laughs> I know, it's terrible. Now for socks and misses. If you can't tell which paw belongs to socks and which one belongs to misses, the scar on, on this paw shows that it belongs to socks. Mostly just because of the slightly lighter fur color. First of all, the pros. It's good for exhausting villains. And two, it doesn't harm the twins much, except for Sox's scars and Memphis's leg. And three, if used together, it does not exhaust them at all. And four, it's harder to dodge than most powers. Which means they have, they can use it with, without 
kill risking without often risking the um, villains dodging. Now for the cons. If using it without the other twin's help, the twin using it can exhaust, vomit, or even die. Yes, that's true. Which means that it's best to use it when they're together instead of alone. Because if they're alone, they risk this is a chance of quite literally dying. And two, if they're not sneaky, it's very easy for villains to see coming. Three, it's very easy to counter depending on on who on their enemy's powers. And four, it can actually electrocute them if used at the same time as Ice's power. Because if you don't know, water and electricity just straight up don't mix. Mix very well at all. So basically, that's all the pros and cons of three powers. I will still try my best to start animating Fluffy and Friends, but it might take a while because mostly because I'm not used to animating in the anime art style. Plus, this isn't much in the anime art style. Really, the only thing in the, the art style are the eyes. Pretty much, mostly just because I don't know what else to add. So, anyway, I need to get back to the galaxy. Bye, everyone!